what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. It is I, it is me, it's your boy. E to the R to the I to the C. And this is the After Work slash Trap Chronicles. And now I'm on my way to go pick up my two co-hosts, T-Mac and Hard Boogie. But it seems like lately, like, when I be coming out of Frisco to pick them up, I don't know what's going on, bro, but it seems like there's more traffic on the highway than ever. I remember just a year or two ago, it was not this many people when I used to come from Frisco and play them. Now it's just like wall to wall people just out here like just trying to move around. Like, gosh, dang. The only thing I can actually say, thank God, is that the traffic moves. Once again, I'll say it again, like I always say, if this was Atlanta, the traffic would not move. But the traffic does move here, so that's a good thing. Now you have to wait a little bit sometimes, but the traffic does move, so I'm thankful for that. If this is Atlanta, the traffic would not move. It would not move at all. We would literally be waiting 40 minutes just to get from, just to get 10 minutes. Just to get less than two miles away in 40 minutes. So that's the other pain about that. But uh, I am glad that the traffic moves. So thank you, God, for that. Uh, today was an interesting day. Uh, like I told y'all before, I've been dealing with a client at work that's been snapping off, going ham, cursing. The other day, I don't know, I think I, I think I did put this in the video. She had called, was on the phone, she was on speaker phone. She was like, yo, this is what I paid for? I pay a hundred grand for this, for this effing BS, effing book, book, book. I was like, dang, man, what the F is, what the F is? And she said the company name, what are they doing? I told this chick, I told this chick, why would I pay this in hopes that Walmart would build the, build the end cap? Walmart, I know Walmart wasn't going to build the end cap. I told her she was going to build it. And me being me, the position I am, I'm like, I, I hear all that, but let's go back to your contract. In your contract, it don't say none of that. So whoever signed off on this, did y'all agree to sign off? Y'all did not read this. So since y'all did not read it, we are not liable for this. And you know, you expect stuff like this in the startup world, because the startup world, you know, everybody hang loose, rides the wave, moves quick, all that good stuff, whatever. Man, this is corporate type of stuff. You know, when I used to work at Coke, we used to have to go through like three or four different lawyers just to get stuff approved and signed off on. Even if it was small little contracts. So you think that they would know better too to have a, a contract that people looked at, agreed, and understood. And nah. Then the chick that she talked about, Ashley, she don't even work there no more. She bounced, skedaddled out. So anyway, she's been blowing my phone up. Blew up the customer call line. The dude teams me, messaged me. was like, yo, she sounds very upset right now. I was like, bro, I mean, I told her what the deal is. Some kind of, some kind of line away, she went looking. She was looking for me again. I was doing something, and I was getting ready to sit out the invite, but some kind of way the items hit me, and I fell asleep for about 20, 30 minutes. I was just in and out. I was, I was gone. Then finally, she sent out another email calling out my boss. My direct supervisor asking him, talking about Eric's been, Eric's been helpful and responsive, but you've been avoiding me, blah blah blah. Like, gosh, dang, she was going in. But I set it up. I the, uh, text her, was like, hey, said to me, thank you. She was all nice, but she don't want, she don't want to talk to me no more. She want to talk to my supervisor because he started throwing out them prices and what he could do. So she realized, oh, he a small fish. I need to talk to him. He gonna get what I want. He gonna be able to get what I want done. So he don't want to talk to her. He been kind of ducking and dodging her. We were talking about that. I was talking about that one of the PMs. They were like, yeah, he don't want. It. He don't like to duck that. He like to just kind of scoot that off. I'm like, yeah, he is ducking and dodging her. And she ready for that action. She done went the all way. She said, I got a hundred grand rolling on this. I need answers as to why my activity that I paid a hundred grand for was what was it. 56% not completed. That's, a, that's pretty high. We have like an 8% not done. 56%, that means the majority of the stuff are not done. That fat factor and the other stuff, people saying no's, that was just, they just paid 100 grand for nothing. 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 But I will tell you something else that paid 100 grand. They did a great job. And we put it in put an end cap out there for them. The company Bloom, they did a good job. We put an end cap out there for Bloom. The end cap looked pretty good. I ain't gonna lie, I saw the pictures, they look good. We 
we had to get them on that prepayment though. They said they've been known not to pay. Took the, last, took the last time three months to pay, so they hit them with that prepayment. Like, we can't start work till you pay now. But that the end cap do look good. Though. I'll be I, I, I was over that account. I'm there. I, I'm their rep. Their customer service manager. So I be dealing with them. But they, it looks good. I go front. There's some other people that I've worked, we're working with that they still look nice too as well too. So and then there's some that just just did not come come together. And this is one that just did not come together. I hope everybody's okay from that accident. This is definitely one that just did not come together. And now they want answers. And EB ain't got them. So, we're going to see how this goes. It's going to be interesting. I will quickly fill y'all in. Because I know she coming. She was on speaking phone. She was like, what the? Well, I paid up for to do this. I know Walmart ain't going to build no end cap. Ashley told me that they were going to do this. And we, I'm just looking like hear you because at the beginning of the conversation I got confused I was saying the wrong thing a little bit then I had to backtrack and explain myself and be like let me look at the contract and I was like okay I'm saying the wrong thing and then I was like and then I was then because this is my first real I've talked to one other client before but this is my first real one talking to that's been disgruntled so then the second one this lady being disgruntled I had to literally be like alright Eric what will you do if I'm talking to anybody else I had to take it back to my old days my other job so I did with anything Pull that contract up and be like, look, this is what you agreed to. What did I agree to? Let's walk you down this contract. Walk her down that contract. Boom, 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 boom. She was like, oh. I was like, yeah. I heard the light just get sucked out of her. I was like, walking her down that contract. Like, man, y'all, you agreed to this. Whoever signed off on this, this is what y'all signed off on. Someone didn't look at this. So because someone didn't look at this, this is y'all fault. And somebody had gonna roll on this, and it ain't gonna be EBZ's. But uh, yeah, but yeah, she been adamant. Blown up the customer service line twice looking for me and my supervisor. So, but anyways, let's go over here and get T Mac a heart boogie so we can roll out because your boy got the itis, had some food today, had the itis, fell asleep at the desk. I was like, I was like, how do I make a, how do I make a, how do I make a calendar invite, invite people? I was doing on Outlook, we're doing on Teams. I fell asleep in that month. I woke back up. To the scrunchle email. I was like, oh, 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 oh. But anyways, we'll be back. All right, y'all, we are back. Um, I got my co-host with me, T Mac, Heart Boogie. T Mac, say hello. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> I don't know why she's doing that. Wave. Yeah, there you go. That's my girl. That's my girl. So T Mac is uh, my co-host. She's a star. Well, I'm really T-Max co-host, cause she's the star. And you can't see Heart Boogie, cause she has to sit facing that way for her safety. But yeah, you see T-Max, her cute little lovable jacket. And uh, like I was saying before, yes, baby. You want to take a shortcut? What kind of shortcut you want to take? You want to fly? Kids, adorable, lovable, but they will haze you. They will haze you. So if you if you want to be hazed every day, this is what you do. If you don't want to be hazed yet, you're not ready. Abstinence is the best measure. <laughs> you can't be abstinence, then abstinence is the best measure for you. Yeah. Do what other people do. Just. Abstinence is the best measure for you. Yeah. Well, I would say if I was in college, always wear protection. <laughs> but now I would say now as I get older, abstinence is the best measure for you. It's the best measure for you. But yeah, they are a blessing. I'm thankful for mine. The Lord knew what he was doing. He gave me two, two more girls. He gave them to me for a reason. Everybody keeps saying that girls will take care of you as you get older. My line brother says that he's like, Hey man, I ain't gonna lie, my sisters take care of my, my dad more than me. You know, I just kind of be doing my own thing. And he was kind of like, I wonder what my own two boys are gonna do with me. You know, are they gonna put me in a home or not? You know, so, kind of interesting. Kind of kind of interesting. You know, hear him, hear him say that's perspective because I, I always wanted to say that. Hey, yes, baby. I 
definitely believe my kiddos will definitely love me, especially T Mac will definitely be die hard daddy all day, every day. Heart Boogie, I think she will too as she gets a little older. We gotta see how she's gonna shake out. Uh, she, right now she just kinda looks at me. She's already started to say, or she's already saying daddy as well. Yeah, you said Harper. What's your, what's your baby sister's name? What's your baby sister's name? What's your sister's name? Mommy. No, what's your sister's name? Daddy. No, that's your dad. What's 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 your sister's name? Harper. There you go, Harper. So yeah, I definitely feel like Harper's gonna be a ride or die. The crazy part is like, I got something in my eye. What the freak? The crazy part is. They both look like me. Both kids. For real, real talk. Both kids in the face look like me. Taylor looks like me in the face, a little bit like her mom, but like me. But Harper definitely looks like me. Harper looks like a stunning me. Harper, Harper looks like me definitely. Like, I consider myself to be, uh, oh God. Like Drake said, light skin, but I'm still a dark. Start dark brother. That's how I am. I'm, I'm. Gosh. Give me a second, y'all. All right, like Dre said, I, I, I'm dark skin. Light skin, but I'm still dark. You know what I'm saying? I'm dark skin brother. You know what I'm saying? I, I always wonder what I look like. I was dark skin. You know, but I am. You know. But everybody keeps telling me that I'm not brown, brown caramel, a little bit complected, but I feel like I am. But uh, Harper got the same complexion as me. Same, even a little lighter. How I was lighter, or whatever. This is years of being in the sun, but harder. But Harper has the same complexion as me. And Taylor has a little bit of me, but more of her mom. But they both works for both of them because they both look so cute, so lovable, and so adorable. So, yes, baby. What did you say? Okay, hop on. So yeah, but yeah, like I was saying before, um, before I have my my dad moment. Hashtag girl dad, not my girl dad or two. But you know, I don't know if I know, told y'all, but EJ is here. He's in mommy's tummy. He's just waiting to come on out. So we've already, uh, we've already, we've already received them. I mean, we've already claimed them and received them. EJ is here. Eric uh, Brothers Jr. is already here. He's already here. He's waiting. To, he's waiting to come on out. Yes, baby. You want mommy? You want to rub mommy's tummy? Yeah, so EJ's already here. He's at mommy's tummy. We've already, uh, we already claimed it and we've already received it. We've already, you know what I'm saying? We've already, we already know it's here. EJ, EJ, EJ. It's all about the E and the J. Aaron Brothers Jr. So thank you, Lord. And we're already standing on Mark 11, 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you received it. I'll be here. I have no shame, no doubt about it. EJ is here. The third one will be EJ. Kind of like how Kobe Bryant was. Kobe Bryant had two older sisters, and it was Kobe the third child. That's how he's gonna be. He's gonna, EJ got two older sisters and EJ. And then after EJ, we go again. It's gonna be a, a fourth child. You know what I'm saying? The fourth little boy. You know, this would be great. We even up the odds. Two on two, two girls, two boys. I'm, after that, then we're done. I'm fine with that. I'm done. I'm fine with two boys, two girls. I'm done. I'm perfectly fine with all of that. Two that can play basketball, two that could, uh, two other uh, two that can play basketball if they want to, or they could do track, band, whatever the other two girls want to do, whatever they feel like their hearts desire. YouTube stars, whatever, whatever they want hearts desires, ballet, whatever. But I just know all the kids are gonna be tall, so I tell first lady that all the time. I'm like, yo, these kids are gonna be tall, so just prepare yourself. EJ is gonna be six seven. His brother is gonna be six seven two or six eight. The girls are going to be 5'11 apiece. I'm 6'4. Well, in my heart, I'm 6'4. Uh, first Lady, she's already tall. So, First Lady, you know, I don't know if you know, but First Lady's 6'1. I'm I'm 5'8. So, you know what I'm saying? But in my heart, I got the heart of a 6 foot brother. So, it's going to work out, you know. And then, I don't know if y'all know, but my grandpa, my, my mom's grandpa, he was 6'8. So it's it skips a generation, you know what I mean? It skips. And I can see it already now, but there's a number up here, baby. 
the most important part of everything is I'm thankful that all my babies are blessed. I'm thankful that my two daughters are healthy. I'm thankful that they're healthy. I'm thankful that they're blessed. I'm thankful that they're growing. I'm thankful that they're disease-free, sickness-free, cancer-free, injury-free. I'm thankful that God's angels are constantly protecting them when they're at school, um, when they're out and about in the car with me or anywhere else. And at all times, God's protecting us. So thank you, God, for blessing us. Lord, to make us. Thank you, God, for blessing us, Lord, to make it there safe without getting an accident, without getting a ticket. Without anything happening with us, with this vehicle, Lord, thank you, God, thank you. Yes, yes, baby, yes. You want to listen about what? Man, what's that? Cars. What's, cars? What's cars? Like, like cars? The movie? She had, she's not able to watch movies yet. We haven't got to that point yet. She hasn't been able, she hasn't been able to sit through a movie, so we haven't got to the point where I haven't been able to open her mind up to the, to the world of Marvel. She hasn't been able to stay focused. Like I put Super Mario Brothers on. It was on Netflix. She just completely just zoned out and started playing on something else. So we haven't gotten to that threshold age yet. But when we do, Marvel, comics, Super Mario Brothers, Transformers. I've been waiting to put her on Transformers, but I can't because she won't sit long enough. So. But it's coming. Her, Harper, EJ, and then all our four sons as well too. Camera. So yeah. Yeah, Harper is your baby sister. Good job. Yeah, good job. I do a lot of high fives in this family. I want to let my kids know that I support them and love them. So, yeah, man, but you know, after a crazy day, I'm dealing with work stuff, whatever work related life going on, it's good to come home with your kids and hang out with them. And I say it all the time, you know, they haze the mess out of me. I still love them. I want nobody else to haze me. I do know, like I said before, this channel is all about being, uh, this channel is all about my journey to being financially free, uh, mentally free, not being worried about it, and understanding the health as well, so while I'm on this journey, you'll be seeing my two co-hosts, T Boogie, uh, uh, I call it T Boogie, T Mac and Heart Boogie, so you'll be seeing them, you'll see First Lady sometimes here and there, but this is a whole complete journey, of just us and our family things that we do together and the enjoyment that we have and all that so you know I'm just happy I'm happy about it all I'm happy that it, it's happening I'm happy that I'm able to experience it with you all I'm, ha I'm happy that we get to be each other's accountability partner in the sense where you know I know you all want to be financially free and doing your own thing as well too so it's good to be able to hold each other accountable what are you doing with Harper's Blanket So it's good to be able to, you know, to be able to keep each other accountable as we go through this whole journey. So, yeah, but yeah, man, let me know what y'all think about the thumbnails, man. I've been trying different stuff with the thumbnails. I'm trying to do a little picture and then switch up and try another picture, the cartoon little Eric face. You know, I've been trying different things. So, just let me know what y'all think about that. You know, what I'm saying, let me know what y'all think about the thumbnails. Say, I'm intrigued because my whole thing was you gotta just try to try stuff like I, like like we, like, I, like I talked about in an earlier video today or yesterday early today you know you gotta just because you've been doing something the same way for three years if it ain't working or it ain't making them moving the needle doesn't mean you gotta keep doing it that way. keep doing it that way there's no shame in pivoting or trying something new you know what I'm saying all that's called is being making good business decisions. Making good to the business decisions means knowing that if you're not getting the, the the results you want, you gotta be willing to switch it up a little bit, try something different, you know what I'm saying? Just have a variety of things. You never know what it, what it could be to get you to the point where you want. And that point would be getting uh, the clicks, getting the interest, getting the return, all that good stuff. So, yeah, definitely. I uh, hope y'all enjoying those, those cartoon ones, uh, you know what I'm saying? Cause, Definitely been trying different stuff out. <laughs> Daddy's sleepy sleep. Daddy is definitely sleepy sleep. The reason Daddy
this sleepy sleep is because daddy stayed up too late. Uh, folks, jump across the other lane and want to merge into the far left lane. Why? I just need to go straight. I don't need to go into the far, far lane. I, I, I remember coming down this way all the time before it never no traffic. All of a sudden, lately, it's everybody and their mama has been so packed. It's like, I, it's just everybody and their mama must live in Denton. This don't make no sense. Everybody and their mama living in Denton. Oh, I remember we, we get this, we, you know what I'm saying? It's just so crazy. It's just so crazy. Everybody and their mama. Everybody and their mama. It's like, uh, I get sometimes having, I, I get sometimes mad to go this way up to go back up where we live. But it is what it is. Or I get, I tell you why I really get out of it. I have to go this way to go get some food. And the first lady be like, could you go get some food? Could you go by so-and-so? You already be over there. I'm like, what the fuck? You want what, baby? Food. Okay. We get some food when we get home. And I don't know about y'all, but man, Dairy Queen's been around for a long time. And I, I fool with Dairy Queen. And I just thought about it because I'm thinking about getting a blizzard when I get home. I know I shouldn't have it. I haven't been eating right. I need to go back to the gym. I'm getting kind of big. Um, you know, being 5'8 and 245 is not good for your friend. But I feel like I do walk a, walk a lot. And the problem that I really do run into the most is it's not getting enough sleep. I gotta get more sleep. That's the problem. I gotta get more sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. So, uh, but uh, yeah, Dairy Queen is like freaking delicious. I get the blizzard. Now, usually I only get the Oreo blizzard, right? But uh, as of lately, I tried the other day, I tried the Reese's. And the Reese's was, it was all right. I might try a Snickers today. Cause, I, Cause what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have a variety of things that I like to try. Yes, baby, what's wrong? Huh? I can't hear you. You want to do what? You want to get up? Huh? No, you can't get up right now. Daddy's driving. That's a weird request. I want to get up. You can't want to get up while Daddy's driving. When did this road become packed? No. No what? No. You want the water? No. No? no. Okay. I want water. You want water? You want the water? No. I told the first lady, I was like, you sure? Yeah, this is, this is. Only so far from the from the daycare. Da, 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 da. Yeah, alright. This is beyond a ways. I didn't I didn't realize that I was doing it with no one but yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. Cause uh, smooth is boring people. It's like people move, but it's compact. Move a little bit, move a little bit. It's like, bro, what the freak? It take me about, I won't get home till about 6.30. Don't make no sense, bro. I be having my mom and I just sit here sometimes. Cause I be sitting here like thinking to myself, like I, I had a conversation with her. I was like, you sure we should be looking that far? We should be, no, 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 no. This is, this is, duh, 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 duh. I'm like, man, I don't think that's what we need to be going out to. 
No, 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 no. Now look at this. See, like, one day the traffic all right, and the next day the traffic even worse. I'm like, bro, how does the traffic get getting this worse out here? Too many people moving to Dallas. I remember I got here in 18, there wasn't this many motherfucking people. I'm telling you. I used to be able to move around. Quick. Now I can't move around for nothing. And I need to fly a car like Harry Potter. And this right here, my people, is why you have to live close by your job. For stuff like this. Or work from home. Or have enough money where you don't have to have a job. You can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. Because if you do not, the traffic is a pain. Because when I lived here in 2018, when I first got here, I used to I used to sit in traffic, but it wasn't nothing like this. And I had to drive an hour home every day. It was nothing like this. And I did that for about... <laughs> I did that for about three and a half years. Man, tear out my body. Look. And then my body can take it though. Sure, I have my moments where it shuts down, get sleepy, get sick, because it's shut down enough for rest. But that's on me because I, I'm not taking the precaution to get my sleep. I'm doing other stuff that I should be doing, pushing it to the limit, pushing it to the wire, you know what I'm saying? Staying up late and all that. What you said, baby? Pajamas or you said pork chops? You said cookies? You, you want cookies? Kid just be saying all kind of stuff. Kid be saying cookies, daddies, mommies, all kind of stuff. I don't know if it's about to get back to the regular time and not daylight savings time no more, but as you guys can see, you can see me a little better, even though it's like six right now. So that's that's there very much helpful that you're able to see me a little better. And as you can see, you see all this traffic. Crazy, cause I know as soon as I uh, had to end the video for today with you, all, my little DJ behind me gonna be like, play this, play that, play that. I'll be like, you want to hear music? No. Then five minutes to come second later, play so and so. I'm like, oh, okay, let me show you what hear the music. Play so and so. I can't stand what they want. See, I wanna play music. Okay. What do you want me to play? Huh? Faith? You said faith? You just said faith? We got a song called Faith from Hill, Hilltop. Now, I don't care what kind of scandal Hilltop, Hill, Hilltop, Hill Church went through in Australia about doing this and doing that. I don't care, I don't care what kind of scandal they went through with that. The person starring it and Beslin no, and the dad messing with boys. No, no, okay, I do care about that part. That, no, that part, let me, let me, no, I, no, that part, that's not cool. I'm talking about the scandal part is in like the lower level, like people spoiling and bezeling money and stuff no, like that. That's wrong. But at the end of the day, even no, all, even though all this stuff, okay, okay, I'm not playing any music. No. Even, what I do care about is, I don't care, I, I care about, let me finish out further. I do care about the scandal stuff. I'm saying what I don't care about is people being like, no, um, no. even though they did scandals, they now in touch with God. No. Well, everybody's not like that. The, no. people, the, the people that did do the song, Faith, they were in touch with it. You could feel the momentum. You could feel the spirit. So that's what I'm trying to say I, I, uh, I care about. I mean, I know because some people be like, well, this church did this scandal, so you should just cancel the whole church out. No, I don't care about that. I, I don't care about trying to cancel everybody out. Because everybody wasn't part of that. So the people that wrote it, people that performed it, they weren't part of that. Now the church and the ownerships and all them and, and the guy allowed his dad to do whatever, that's not cool. I care about that. That's wrong. He should be prosecuted. But as far as the people in the band singing and people singing faith and me feeling the song, I care. I, I'm not going to cancel them out and stop listening. You know, that's like almost saying, you know, there's celebrity artists out here that been convicted of sexual assault crimes. So now we need to cancel the people that were in their band uh, playing the drum before them. Like, no, they didn't do that. That person did that. So that person needs to be, you know what I'm saying, stopped and reckoned with and we need to watch that person. But we don't need to stop them. So that's why I say I don't care about that. I don't care about 
that in a sense where I don't care about stopping, you know, listening to them, listening to the people that performed this song. Now, the people that owned it, yeah, I'm not, I'm weary of them and how they treated people. That's not cool. So, let me make sure I clarify. Because in my mind, I know what I was saying, but I'm like, that's not what's coming out. So, let me make sure I clarify. At the end of the day, we're not with, not with or support or not cool with anybody that's taking advantage of children. Making children feel uncomfortable or touching any type of children. Definitely not cool. Yeah. Michael Guestes keeps calling me. I guess he's running for a senator. He wants my vote. Yeah. Yes, yes, baby, yes. No more what? Okay, I'm not playing no music. I'll call mommy. You'll call mommy? Yes. Okay, we'll call mommy in a few minutes. Uh huh? I wonder if I should have. I'm starting to think, man, I might actually have to start taking the toll every day. Right this, this stuff is just getting ridiculous, man. All right, man. Let me figure out what's up with her, y'all. And I just want to say thank you guys for tuning in with me. Thank you guys for the uh, my After Work Slash Chop Chronicles. And continue to keep going after your goals. Continue to be, keep being financially free. Continue being mentally free. And remember, health is wealth. And also, please don't forget, keep living your life. Because if you don't, your life is not going to live you.